previous years, all the Miss World contests have come from these dignified surroundings of the Royal Albert Hall. But I can tell you that the activities of the pageant, in fact, began a few days ago. And for the first time, you can see some of those activities. You can see the girls taking part in their own talent contest, playing host at a children's party, and some of the other fundraising activities that go to make up Miss World. We took our camera along to the Stringfellows Discotheque in London and watched one such activity. This was the girls' talent competition. They really had a super time. I think it worth mentioning that this entertainment was provided by the girls purely for the enjoyment of the other competitors. And in no way does this count in the final competition. A truly charming gesture. Now this is Miss Singapore, who has actually mastered the Chinese ribbon dance. There's not a great deal of call these days for the ribbon dance. Except around about Christmas when Miss Singapore gets to wrap a lot of Christmas presents. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Now this lovely young lady is Miss Hong Kong, and this is my personal favorite. This young lady is a policewoman. She's actually a police inspector. And looking at this lovely lady, it's difficult to think of her as the heavy arm of the law. For those of you who don't recognize the tune, she's playing the Chinese version of Jailhouse Rock. Beautiful, beautiful. Julia. And this is Miss India, a beautiful lady with a beautiful dance. As in all Eastern dances, each gesture of hand, arms and eyes helps to tell the story. If I read her correctly, Miss India is saying, what am I doing in Englishman's discotheque? Sorry, we lost India, doesn't it? <laughs> and now Miss Lesotho. Miss Lesotho, I'm told, is doing the traditional East African knee dance, for which there is yet no known cure. Although Miss Lesotho dances beautifully, I just hope this dance doesn't become popular. This lovely young lady is Miss Guatemala. She left a trail of exhausted porters all the way from Guatemala to London carrying her marimba. As Miss Guatemala said herself, would they remember me if I played a mouth organ? Looking like you, my dear, of course they would. This tune was once top of the Guatemalan hit parade shortly before the last revolution. <laughs> and finally, the exotic dance routine from Miss Lebanon. she does, this lovely lady makes Western disco dancing look like the final whistle in an English football match.
Now, is there a more appealing combination than a beautiful woman and a happy child? Well, that was exactly the mix the other evening when the girls played Santa Claus to a bunch of young children from deprived homes nominated by the Variety Club of Great Britain. It was a beautiful evening. And the party was held at the Tower Hotel next door to Tower Bridge and the Tower of London. So naturally, some beef eaters joined in the fun. All 67 of the Miss World contestants were there and they clearly enjoyed the chance to play host to their young guests. ingredients for a really international party as much lemonade cakes jelly and crisps as all those tummies could possibly take well perhaps with room for just one more parties like this have been an ingredient of the Miss World celebrations for some years but this is the first time television cameras have been invited as the bubbles flew up into the air, there was no doubt that a great time was had by all there. Your presenters for the evening, Peter Marshall, Judith Chalmers and Anthony Newley. Yes, hello and uh, welcome to London's Royal Albert Hall, where for the 30th year we're here tonight to find Miss World 1980 from a host of 67 beautiful girls. They really are smashing, actually, all of them. And I'm glad to see you concentrating, Peter, despite all the distractions. I am, I am. And I'm delighted to welcome back to London Anthony Newley. Thank you, Judy. Thank, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I told you. That's quite a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. As you know, Judy, I will travel anywhere to see 67 of the world's most beautiful women. And, of course, I also get to sing to them later on. Well, young Peter, what have we got in store for this lovely audience? We have tonight? quite a lot tonight, Anthony. To find this world 1980, we're going to start in traditional fashion by meeting all the girls, first of all, in their national costume, beginning with Miss Argentine. My name is Elsa Galotti, and I am a ballet teacher. Miss Aruba. My name is Edlin Decker. I'm a student nurse. Miss Australia. My name is Linda Shepherd. I'm a model and a student in communication. Miss Austria. My name is Sonia Maria Schlepp. I'm a student of hotel management and also model. Miss Bahamas. I'm a beautician. Miss Bermuda. Hi, my name is Dina Means. I'm a reference clerk and a model. Miss Bolivia. Hello, my name is Sonia Mabertida and I'm a student of foreign languages. Miss Brazil. 
Soriani. I am a psychology student. Miss Canada. My name is Annette Labrec. I am a model and a student in sciences. Miss Cayman Islands. My name is Devon Watler. I'm a senior flight attendant. Miss Columbia. Miss Costa Rica. My name is Francis Gracie. I'm a travel agent and a student of preschool education. Miss Curacao. My name is Zoraida Zawin, and I'm a student of nutrition. Miss Cyprus. My name is Partenol Vasiliadou. I am a model. Miss Denmark. My name is Jane Bill. Uh, I'm modeling and student architect. My name is Patricia Polanco. I am a model and a student of human relations. Miss Ecuador. My name is Gabby Rios, and I am an actress. Miss Finland. My name is Ritva Tamio, and I'm an assistant in a boutique. Miss France. My name is Patricia Barzik. I'm a student of languages. Miss Germany. My name is Gabriella Brahm and I'm a student of costume design. Miss Gibraltar. My name is Eva Dominguez and I am a beautician. Miss Greece. My name is Vera Zaharopoulou and I am a mod. Miss Guam. My name is Kimberly Santos and I'm a travel consultant. Miss Guatemala. My name is Ligia Martinez. I am a teacher and a law school student. Miss Holland. My name is Desiree Halen. I'm modeling and I'm a student of English and Dutch. Miss Honduras. My name is Etelvina Raudales. I am a gymnastics teacher. Miss Hong Kong. My name is Julia Chan. I'm a woman police inspector. Miss India. I'm Anita Reddy, and I'm a model for press 
cinema ads and fashion shows. Miss Ireland. My name is Michelle Rocker and I'm a student in archaeology and foreign languages. Miss Isle of Man. My name is Vori Wallace and I'm an A-level student. Miss Israel. of biology. Miss Italy. My name is Stefani De Pasquali. I am student. Miss Jamaica. My name is Michelle Harris and I've just graduated from university in foreign languages. My name is Kana Goito. I'm model and student of fashion design. Miss Jersey. My name is Karen Paul. I'm an air traffic control assistant. Miss Republic of Korea. My name is Honda Zhang. I'm a student. Miss Lebanon. My name is Celeste Lassal. I'm a student of law. Miss Lesotho. My name is Lucila Rotori. I am an O-level student. Miss Malaysia. My name is Kelly Liu. I'm a hairdresser and a model. Miss Malta. is Francis Duca and I am a secretary. Miss Mauritius. My name is Karamaki and I am a secretary. Miss Mexico. Claudia Holly, and I'm a student of law. Miss New Zealand. My name is Vicky Lee Hume. I'm a student teacher, and I'm studying English and education. Miss Norway. Nielsen, I'm a DJ and a fashion model. Miss Panama. My name is Aurea Horta and I'm a student of computer science and statistics. Miss Papua New Guinea. I'm an international travel consultant. Miss Paraguay. My name is Celia Sher and I am a student of law. Miss Peru. My name is Roxana Vega. I am a supervisor. 
advisor and a bilingual secretary for travel agency. Miss Philippines. My name is Mila Nabor and I'm a commercial model. Miss Puerto Rico. My name is Michelle Torres. I'm a professional model and a student in communication. Miss Singapore. My name is Erda Pang. I'm a tropical fish import exporter. Miss Spain. My name is Baggy Ayan and Mother. Miss Sri Lanka. My name is Rosie Ramanak and I promote the world's finest team. Miss Swaziland. My name is Nomaikul Sazawi. I'm a high school teacher and also a part-time model. Miss Sweden. My name is Monica Jeanemark and I'm a fashion model. Miss Switzerland. My name is Jeanette Inkenheil. I'm a telegraphist and a model. Miss Thailand. My name is Anjuli. I'm a student in teacher training college. Miss Trinidad and Tobago. and I'm a photographer. Miss Republic of Turkey. My name is Funda Aydoğdu. I am model, teacher, and management student. Miss United Kingdom. Model. Miss United States of America. My name is Brooke Alexander and I'm a receptionist in a modeling agency in Honolulu, Hawaii. Miss Uruguay. And I am a secretary. Miss Venezuela. My name is Hilda Abrahams and I am a model. Miss Virgin Islands. and I'm a tax collector. Miss Western Samoa. My name is Lilu Tafoi and I'm a secretarial student. And finally, Miss Zimbabwe. It's one of the most elegant landmarks in London, and of course, to enjoy an evening here, you really do have to arrive in style, and they did. They watched a brilliant performance of the ballet Swan Lake, and clearly enjoyed every moment of it. 
and afterwards they met the principal dancers of the show, Leslie Collier and Wayne Eagley. Later, we and the judges had an opportunity to see the girls in their chosen evening wear. And right at the top of our flight of contestants, Miss Argentine, favouring frills and flounces. For Miss Aruba, a student nurse, it's the fashionable strapless top with pearls and sequins. Dressed to show off a suntan from the other side of the world, Miss Australia. Apparently an open look, much warm there. A striking pattern marked out for Miss Austria on her tiered and pleated chiffon. She's a model. is chosen by many of the girls. This is Miss Bahamas, the niece of the governor of the Bahamas. Over one shoulder it goes and is finished off with soft fur. A more covered up look for Miss Belgium. Great fun and here to enjoy herself in London. Bermuda, the country which gave us the winner last year, a great colour for her, mauve, a tulip skirt, overall simple but stunning. Hot red and a deep plunge, emphasised in rhinestones for Miss Bolivia. Brazil, a student of psychology, suggests this evening gown is typically Brazilian. All three tiers are finely pleated, and there's clever use of diamante and gold stones. For Miss Canada, a dress by a designer from Ottawa. Warm black velvet with the added accessories of velvet rose and fingerless gloves. A flight attendant with an airline is Miss Cayman Islands, using two shades of blue chiffon to give the crossover effect. For Miss Columbia, a very fitted dress by one of her country's top designers. It's in tulle and pastel coloured sequins. combination of gold and blue for Miss Costa Rica. She works in travel but is planning to spend six months in a kibbutz. <laughs> Miss Curacao designed her own silk dress with its fashionable padded shoulders. Around the waist it's Broadway Anglais. for Miss Cyprus in a four-colour combination. She's a lover of music and has studied the piano for five years. The wrap-over style for Miss Denmark. Her mother made dresses simple compared with some, she says, but they don't go in for frills and fancies in Denmark. designed her own dress. A good combination of two materials very much having a rebirth in the fashion stakes, satin and lace. <laughs> Miss Ecuador in classic white silk jersey. Her grandfather was president of Chile in the 40s. for peacock blue. She hails from Helsinki, where it's already several degrees below zero.
The youngest ever Miss France, 16 when she was elected, loves couture clothes, as you can well see. Poised and sophisticated, she enjoys the 19th century look, she says. Miss Germany would like to be a costume designer for the theatre, which no doubt explains why she went to a theatrical costumier for her dress in Peach Organza. Sequins are what Miss Gibraltar favours. She aims to be a beautician. Made in Greece, form is Greece in flamboyant red. And like many of the girls, she's enjoying practising her English while she's here. Designed by one of the Gabor sisters, Eva, for Miss Guam, a long way from her sunny Pacific island. Dazzling white for Miss Guatemala. She decided on the style, something different, she said. Her grandmother made it. A dress right at the other end of the colour scale for Miss Holland. A modelling career for her, she hopes, once she's completed her English studies. emphasizes the cape effect of the sleeves for Miss Honduras, an executive secretary in her country's Ministry of Economy. Miss Hong Kong of the Royal Hong Kong Force, away from the uniform, she designed a beautifully embroidered white gown of silk lace and sequins. The brightest of all colors for Miss India in crepe de chine, with good use of sequins on the tulip skirt and cape. Miss Ireland, a student of Greek, Italian and archaeology at University College Dublin, dramatic black with buckled belt. A lawyer is what Miss Isle of Man would like to be, and to enter an international trap driving event with her buggy and ponies. to hear Miss Israel approaching. She has beads all round the hem of this beautiful court jester influenced dress. Miss Italy eats less and less pasta at home and keeps her model figure with netball and swimming. is the first love of beautiful Miss Jamaica. At 17, she ranked number one in Jamaica, number two in the Caribbean. Languages are her second love. She graduated in May from the University of Miami. Shimmer in her seams and double handkerchief skirt. She did the designing and decided to wear the fashionable little gloves. assistant at the Ireland's airport is Miss Jersey. Simple and elegant is her choice for this Jersey dress. Miss Korea has a creative mother who designed and made this halter neck dress with its glittering pattern of sequins. year of law study. She believes every colour has a special meaning. For example, blue gives her a feeling of calm. What then can flamboyant pink do for her? Casual and comfortable is how Miss Lesotho likes to dress. She's gone for the covered up look and a most unusual shade of green. Way through the contestants, and I wonder what Sir Thomas Beecham is thinking of it all now. Miss Malaysia, who aims to establish her own business in hairdressing and fashion design, she designed this dress in Lurex and Net and added the bow for extra panache. A beautiful dress for Miss Malta in Champagne Net and Lace. A good deal of care has been taken in the embroidered overdress and sleeves. Mauritius would cut a fine rug in the Charleston wearing this. Diamante adds sparkle to the fringing. A traditional form of embroidery for Miss Mexico. In Mexico it's called Shakira, using alternate rows of sequins and glass beads, or as Miss Mexico said, it's embroidered with rocks. 
New Zealand from North Ireland. She's currently completing a Bachelor of Education degree and lots of the family have come across the world to be here at the same time. An original dress designed by a friend for Miss Norway, a charming young lady who's specialising in choreographic fashion shows. sister's footsteps, she was Miss Panama five years ago, is the current Miss Panama. She's a student in computer science and also works as a tourist guide. International travel consultant Miss Papua New Guinea, whose father is Shadow Minister of Education in her country's parliament. in a dress especially designed for her. She's a second year law student and also works as a model. Tongues of lightning is how Miss Peru explains the effect on the bodice of this gold lame slim fitting dress. She's wearing to a bracelet of Peruvian gold, one of her prizes for winning the Miss Peru title. This is particularly pretty and befits a fashion coordinator. A décolleté chiffon dress made as a gift for Miss Puerto Rico. She's a university student in communications. Singapore in soft blue, the flowers picked out in sequins. She's a successful businesswoman. She imports and exports tropical fish. From Las Palmas, Gran Canaria, Miss Spain, a model. An outstanding dress, heavily patterned with pearls and sequins. Another example of the full skirt on Miss Sri Lanka with velvet and leather leaves, adding detail to the bodice. She promotes, she says, the world's finest tea. For Miss Swaziland, beads worn in the hair, a big part of the fashion scene. She's a high school teacher of languages. Miss Sweden, simple yet striking white silk jersey. She studied economics, worked in computers, and now models. Switzerland. It's been made and beaded for her for tonight and suits her model figure. She also works in telecommunications. Miss Sweden and Miss Switzerland. Miss Thailand, a student of education in dainty oyster coloured lace. Trinidad and Tobago, Broadway Anglais, layers of accordion pleats, crystal beads and pink feathers for a young lady who works in her family's photography studio. A sash effect for Miss Turkey, a teacher of English. A subtle shade in silk with detailed beading and shoulder bow. Miss United Kingdom, there's a lovely movement on this glamorous dress provided by the long silver bugle beads and glass pearl droplets. It's cut very low at the back. For Miss USA, a stunning example of the fashionable strapless dress, a receptionist at a model agency in the beautiful Hawaiian Islands. From Montevideo comes Miss Uruguay, where she's a secretary in a bank. She wrote a novel at 13, but now feels she'd like to write another one. striking Miss Venezuela, a most unusual sequin pattern bodice on the slim fitting dress for this Bachelor of Science and Humanities. A design in chiffon for Miss Virgin Islands, who wants to swap that for a uniform in the U.S. Air Force. Miss Western 
Mr. Mera, an eye-catching gown for this contestant who finds it such a different world from that on her little island. She has a great love of music and enjoys playing the violin and guitar. Finally, Miss Zimbabwe, and perhaps the most unusual dress of all, in macrame. A beautiful example of the art to complement the beauty of the Royal Opera House. Panel of judges now, I, I can see that they're smiling too, because in the interim, it has been their pleasant but most difficult task to select the 15 semi-finalists from amongst this plethora of beauty. So we'd like you to meet these 15 lovely ladies, each one in her swimming suit. And we'd like to start now with Miss Guam. And Miss Guam this evening is Kimberly Santos. Well, Kimberly likes to travel, which is just as well, because she's a travel consultant. She's 19 years of age, 5 feet 8 inches tall, and has beautiful black hair and brown eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Miss Guam 1980, Kimberly Santos. <laughs> Miss Puerto Rico. Yes, a nice welcome there for Michelle Torres, Miss Puerto Rico, 1980. She's 19 years old and a university student in communications. Michelle is 5 feet 6 inches tall and has dark brown hair and brown eyes. Well, this is a very artistic lady. She enjoys all the arts, in fact. Miss Puerto Rico, Michelle Torres. <laughs> Miss Bermuda. Yes, Miss Bermuda 1980 is one of the youngest competitors this evening, 17 years of age, Zena Minx, a reference consultant and a model. And what a sharp combination of black hair and dark brown eyes. Well, Zena finds the English climate a little bit chilly, but that's not surprising compared to her sunny island home. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Zena Minx, Miss Bermuda. United States. Ah, yes. Yes, hi there to Brooke Alexander. Again, Brooke is just 17 years of age, and she's a receptionist. I don't need to tell you that the hair is a beautiful blonde. The eyes, if you get close enough, are blue-green, and she's 5 feet 10 inches tall. Here's a very sporting lady, Brooke Alexander, Miss USA. <laughs> Anita Reddy is Miss India, and she's a freelance model. She has beautiful black hair and deep brown eyes, and she's five feet, five inches tall. Well, with acting as an ambition, this is a young lady who could be a star of the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Anita Reddy, the current Miss India. <laughs> Miss New Zealand. Yes, let's say hello to Vicky Lee Hemi from New Zealand. Vicky is 18 years of age and a student teacher. She has dark brown hair, dark brown eyes, and is 5 feet 10 inches tall. Well, as a student teacher, I'd certainly like to be in her class in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Vicky Lee Hemi, Miss New Zealand, 1980. Eighteen-year-old Anna Zimmerman is Miss Israel, 1980. She's a student. Let me tell you, that hair is a subtle brownish blonde, and the eyes, if you get close, are brown. She's five feet seven inches tall, by the way, and she's well on her way to being a teacher. Miss Israel, 1980. <laughs> Miss Zimbabwe. A lovely welcome there for Shirley Nyaniwa, who's 22 years of age and a reservations clerk with an airline. Shirley has black hair and brown eyes. She's five feet seven inches tall. She wants to be a top model, and I'm sure she'll succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Zimbabwe, 1980. <laughs> Miss Sweden. Yes, this is Miss Sweden, 
1980, Monica Ginemark. Well, Monica is 21 years old, and she's already a model. What matches blonde hair, I ask you? If you said blue eyes, you'd be absolutely right. She's five feet eight inches tall, she speaks many languages, and is using this trip to practice her English. Ladies and gentlemen, Monica Ginemark, Miss Sweden, 1980. Miss Austria. Let's say hello to Sonia Marie Schlepp. Well, Sonia already has a career in hotel management. She has chestnut hair and green eyes, and she's five feet, eight inches tall. 19-year-old Sonia enjoys meeting people from all over the world, and she's certainly doing that this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonia Marie Schlepp, Miss Austria. Miss United Kingdom. Yes, as you might expect, a very warm welcome there for our own Kim Ashfield. Kim's 21 years of age and a model. She has light brown hair and lovely dark brown eyes. She's five feet seven inches tall, by the way. It's been a very successful year for Kim Ashfield, Miss United Kingdom. Miss Jamaica. It's hello to Michelle Harris, Miss Jamaica this year. Michelle is a university graduate and has a BSc degree in education. She also has dark brown hair, dark brown eyes, and is five feet eight inches tall. She's a very successful sportswoman too. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Michelle Harris, and she's Miss Jamaica, 1980. Bonsoir, Patricia. Patricia Barzak, again a young competitor, 17 years of age. Patricia, by the way, is a student. She has light brown hair and she has baby blue eyes. She's also five feet nine inches tall and metric, I better give it, it's 1.75 meters. Patricia wants to be a television announcer. Why not? Miss France, Patricia Barzak. Miss Venezuela. Yes, please greet Ilda Abrahams. Ilda is 21 years of age. She's a graduate also, a Bachelor of Science and Humanities degree. Lovely blonde hair, beautiful brown eyes, and five feet, eight inches tall. Well, she wants to hit the heights in a different way. She wants to be an architect. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Venezuela. Finally, Miss Germany. Yes, a lovely welcome there for Gabrielle Brum, Miss Germany, one of the tallest girls in the competition at five foot eleven. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gabriella Brum, Miss Germany, 1980. stage but they assure me it's in a state of controlled chaos and they want to be out here I can tell them well now the girls are changing from their swimwear into their evening wear it's a very quick change but let's meet our 15 semi-finalists once again will you please welcome back our first 15 Miss Guam <laughs> away from the sun, sand and glorious surf beaches of the Pacific, Kimberley was a little bit homesick at the beginning. She's travelled a good deal though as an international travel consultant and would like to work for an airline in public relations. She loves our English history, our kings and our queens and has been thrilled with London Town. Puerto Rico. Michelle's older sister persuaded her to enter the Miss Puerto Rico competition and now she's jolly glad she did. She's in the second year of her university studies in communication. She'd like to be a professional singer and if that doesn't work then she'll hopefully join an airline because she loves to travel. She has been longing to come to England and is fascinated by our accent. Gentlemen, Miss Bermuda. From the lovely island of Bermuda.
Bermuda, the home of Miss World 1979. This year's Miss Bermuda, 70 year old Zena Mink. She would most like to meet Brezhnev, she says. She thinks he's charismatic and envies his control over people, but on the other hand, she wouldn't like to live in Russia. She's a very good cook and likes to prepare the traditional Sunday lunch of roast beef, but without the Yorkshire pud. Miss United States of America. Brooke Alexander. 17 now, but at 15 she was actually taking part in the Miss Young International Contest. Very much an outdoor lady, a member of the Championship State Girls Basketball Team in 1977 and 78. But as she says, she loves all sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss India. Ready from Bombay. She wants to be a versatile film actress. She's certainly versatile in her modeling work, fashion shows, photography, television, and film commercials, including ones for shampoo, toothpaste, and cigarettes that are curled, can't be seen smoking in India. She takes a good deal of interest in Indian dancing, classical, and folk. on North Island. Her teaching capabilities are extensive. She's a student teacher in English and education, has a ballet school for 4 to 14 year olds, and teaches 9 year olds in Sunday school. Her father's a Maori, her mother's Welsh. Tel Aviv, where she's been continuing her studies. She's due in a month's time to go into the Israeli army for a couple of years. She intends, though, after that, to teach six to nine-year-olds. A green-fingered lady. Plants grow very well for her. Why shouldn't they? Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Zimbabwe. She works as a reservations clerk with a large airline. This is the first time that she's visited London, although her mother was here for five years and has given her a list of all the things to try and see while she's over here. into cancer. Please greet Miss Austria. Claudia Maria from Graz, about 120 miles south of Vienna, where in 1848 a distant grandparent, who was then mayor of Vienna, installed the street lighting. They'd already had three good days of snow in Graz before Sonia Maria left for here. She entered the Miss Austria contest because she wanted to win the first prize of a new car. Needless to say, she got it. Miss United Kingdom. A great uh, round of applause 
for Kim being a smile to her face in Norway. She was Miss Wales in May and became Miss United Kingdom at the end of August. She's a fashion and photographic model and shows in the way she walks that she's had training in movement and dancing, all kinds of dancing, modern, ballet, mime, national, tap, Greek, the whole caboodle, she says. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jamaica. A great tennis player is Michelle. She has played at Wimbledon and twice been nominated as Jamaica's Sportswoman of the Year. Her younger brother and sister are current all Jamaica champions. When Michelle started traveling, she realized the need for languages. Well, she graduated in May, a degree in Spanish and French, and wishes now to interpret at diplomatic level. Miss France. She was encouraged to enter by her grandmother, who judged correctly that it would be a good way to travel and to meet other people. Patricia lives in Paris and has high hopes of becoming an actress. She loves the couture clothes that she's been wearing here. Miss Venezuela. graduate of Bachelor of Science and Humanities, who now does a good deal of modeling. She hopes to get a scholarship to study architecture. Hilda thinks this is a good career for women because it requires sensitivity. And it tallies with her love of all beautiful things in life, including a love of romantic poetry. Miss Germany. A tremendous reception for Gabriella Brum, a student of costume design. She's very much interested in theatre and film and has acted in a number of amateur productions in Berlin. But before she came here from Miss World, she only knew our airport, which she passed through on her way to and from Los Angeles, where she's lived for six months. Judy, imagine how the girls are feeling at this moment. The final seven, a chance to talk to Judy, and the first of the seven, Miss Guam. Hello, Kimberly. Can you stand just a little closer so we can see you well and clearly? Can you describe your home to me on Guam? Um, it's beautiful. To me, it's paradise. It's like what you would imagine a tropical island to be, the sandy beaches and very tran tranquil, very nice. I like the way you see tranquil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you get Ava Gabor to design your dress? Oh, my other dress that I was wearing. I didn't, it was, she designed it and I bought it. You know, I don't know her or anything like that. Oh, I thought it was a lot more intimate than oh, that. No, no, no. <laughs> now, what about your feelings in London? Have they been good while you've been here? Yes. Yes, they were very nice because my mother is from Belfast and I lived there for about a year and it was, I'm kind of used to the people and the food and I really enjoy it. Slightly different accent here. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, everybody teases me about that, but yeah. Well, the best of luck as you join now the, in fact, lead the line of the final seven, Miss Guam, thank you. And on my little list this evening, the second of our final lists is Miss United States. Hi, 
Brooke. Well done. Congratulations. Tell me where you come from in the States. I come from Hawaii. Say that again. Hawaii. What a wonderful way of saying it. I call it Hawaii. Well, if you want to be very technical, you would say Hawaii, because the Hawaiians pronounce their W's as V's. Now, it sounds a very romantic place. Does it live up to that reputation? I tend to take it for granted because I live there, but I think it's wonderful. It's a beautiful place. Why is it you like it so much, apart from it being home? Well, just like Miss Guam said, it's got beautiful beaches and it's just paradise, but what I think really makes Hawaii stand out is its people. They're beautiful people. Tell me about the lumber business that your mother ran. Did you help her with that? Oh, every Saturday after school. I, every weekend I would go down there. And I'd go in the back with all the boys and, and bag sand. No, wait a minute. <laughs> I'd bag sand and I'd take inventory of the paints and, and do all kinds of odds and ends jobs just to keep busy. Look, I think you better be careful all over the Albert Hall. They'll be wanting to start lumber businesses. Thank you very much indeed and good luck. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the third of our finalists this evening is Miss New Zealand. Hello, Vicky. Well done. You've come a very long way for this competition. Tell me what you've experienced since you got here. Well, the first thing I experienced was that my luggage was left in San Francisco. Uh, but... <laughs> Luckily, it was found after a couple of days. But in the competition, we've been to the operas, we've been to the ballet, to several musicals, to a discotheque, uh -huh. and we've just been together, and it's really been wonderful. What have you enjoyed most of all about it? Because it was a Dickens of a long way to come. It was worth it, though, obviously. Oh, yes, it really was. But the thing I've enjoyed most is meeting girls from all over the world, you know, from every different country. That's what I've loved about it. And depending on what happens tonight, of course, you may be going straight home or you may not, but are you thinking of travelling further soon? Yes. Well, as you know, my mother's from Wales. So afterwards, we're going down to Wales and touring around, stopping in America and Hawaii. It'll be lovely. Well, have a very good trip, and congratulations on the final stage. <laughs> Yes, this is the halfway stage. Our fourth finalist this evening, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Israel. Hello, Annette. Congratulations to you as well. You can come. That's Thank fine. Thank you. Now, tell me about this army business. It's compulsory, of course, for you, isn't it? To go yes, into the army. Yes, it is. What will you be doing in the army? I have one month of general training with weapons and after it we are um, going to have a feminine work for the, the last two years. What do you call feminine work? Becoming a teacher or of illiterate soldiers or... Um, what sort of men do you like actually? I told you the answer. Well, will you tell it me again? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't try them all, but one Englishman <laughs> already passed the test. Well, I wonder who will be the next person to pass the test, but you have one final test to go through, and thank you very much indeed, Mrs. Israel. And as our fourth finalist joins the others, will you please welcome now Miss United Kingdom. Kim, how are you feeling? Uh, well, I think I've got enough butterflies in my stomach to fill the stadium. <laughs> Tell me, last time I saw you, actually, it was about half past seven after you'd run Miss UK. Half past seven in the morning. Now, I thought you'd be lying in bed languishing with a, a breakfast tray in front of you. No, I went in the sea about eight o'clock when it was raining and it was cold and foggy. And I went back in again at nine o'clock on a chair. But why? Because the, that's the sort of picture they wanted because it was held in Brighton. You sat on a chair in the middle of the sea. What else has happened to you since you've become Miss UK? Um, well, I've made many, many different appearances at uh, shops and um, exhibitions 
and fashion show. And garages too. Yes, I did did one garage. Yes, yeah. Didn't you wreck a mo motorbike or something? Yes, well, I went to one garage and uh, I had to ride a little boy's motorbike, which was good fun. I didn't hit a lamppost, though. But you've got pinpricks all over your fingers. Oh, well, that was when I went to uh, watch someone um, practice doing shirt packing. And so they said, you have a go, so I did. And you've still got the marks? Yes, I've still got the pinprick. Jim, go and join the others. <laughs> and you. congratulations on to getting to the final seven. Miss United Kingdom. Only two more to go, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome now, Miss France. Patricia, I know you can, so répondez en anglais, s'il vous plaît. Oui? Yes. What are your hopes for the future? For the future? In years to come, what is it you would like to do? Uh, I would like to become uh, an interpreter because I'm a student and I learn three languages, German, Spanish and English. Why was it that your grandmother suggested you entered the competition? She, su she suggested me, she encouraged me to go to the competition. Oh, I could listen to you all day. She encouraged you. That's a lovely way of saying it. Did she not worry that a 16-year-old lady might be led away by the men? Yes, of course. Well, that's <laughs> all there is to it, isn't there, actually? Thank you very much indeed, Miss Fran. <laughs> Six of the most beautiful girls in the world, ladies and gentlemen. The seventh is Miss Germany. What a reception, Gabriella. Congratulations. How are you feeling at this moment? And can you sum up what you feel about the week, ten days you've had here? Well, uh, at the moment I feel great. <laughs> and... Uh, the week that we had here, all the girls, it was very nice for us. We enjoyed it all very, very much. And we made a lot of friendships. And what well, I just can say it was a nice time. You want to go into costume design for theatres. Why is that? Well, because I'm interested in it. And later on, uh, I'll try to be, uh, uh, I think it's called a ward wardrobe supervisor in films. And, uh, Don't you think you're beautiful enough to actually be an actress in the film? Uh, well, I think as an actress you don't really have to be beautiful because all types of uh, people, are, they need all types, you know. And, well, I'm not really interested in being in front of the camera. Well, you are now. Go and join the rest of the girls and good luck. <laughs> Well, there, ladies and gentlemen, are our final seven, from whom our judges must choose the one they feel best suited to wear the Miss World crown. We wish them good luck, and we thank once again Miss Guam, Miss USA, Miss New Zealand, Miss Israel, Miss United Kingdom, Miss France, and Miss Germany. Thank you very much, girls, and would you please lead off Miss Guam. Gina, they'll never believe me at home. Actually talking to Miss World after all these years. They're watching me now, did you know that? <laughs> can, I, can I ask you one or two things which people obviously do want to know? What sort of things does a Miss World do in an average year? Because I've got no idea. Well, um, we do lots of personal appearances and um, opening stores and traveling throughout the world. I've been to places like Australia, Malaysia, New Zealand, Portugal, Germany, Ottawa, Canada. Oh, I see. You don't travel very much. No, not at all. <laughs> Well, listen, I know that one or, two thing, one or two very special things have happened to you this year. Let's hear about them. Well, on my first day of arrival back in Bermuda, it was declared a national holiday, and it was absolutely fabulous. And they also issued a set of postal stamps in my honor. And so many things have happened. It would take you a year. It would take me a year to tell you about it. You mean if I go to Bermuda and mention your name, I'm going to have a very good time? I think so. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's right, said somebody. I think he's been there. My stepfather. Your stepfather. Hi there, stepfather. Let me also ask you something. We've been reading in the press, because you can't ignore them, can you, that you're finding London a bit pricey these days. Is that right? Well, isn't everyone? <laughs> I think they agree with you. <laughs> I think they agree with you. You're probably right as well. Let's very quickly find out what you have lined up for the future. Well, I'm looking forward to going into a fashion business in Bermuda, hopefully a chain of boutiques. And before that, um, directly after giving up the crown, I hope to go to the USA and, and launch a campaign there and do some personal appearances. Now, come on, be honest with me. Shouldn't there be a, a Mr. World? There is one. Oh, there is one? Yeah, isn't it you? I thought it was you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I didn't know I'd won. <laughs> Gina, lovely to talk to you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have one long, lingering look and walk from the lovely Gina Swainson. Fantastic stuff, Tony. It wasn't bad. Have wasn't a sweet, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> well, while you catch your breath, let me tell our audience here and at home, of course, the moment has arrived. You've seen the girls in their national costumes. You've seen them in their evening dress. You've seen them in the swimwear. You've heard them talking to Judy. The question is, will your choice be the same as our judges? We are indeed only moments away from finding out who is going to be the new Miss World. Mm. So, with pleasure, I introduce now the organizing director of Miss World, the lady who's going to present the prizes, Mrs. Julia Morley. Now, there's, uh, there's nobody listening, Tony. You can tell me. Have you made your choice yet? Well, I, I fancied Judy, but she wouldn't get into the swimming costume. <laughs> you blame me. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is where we find that choice. Our final introduction in the evening, the man with the results, the chairman of our panel, the creator of Miss World. It can only be Mr. Eric Morley. <laughs> This year, ladies and gentlemen, the judges, in point of fact, picked five different girls as the winner. So that's how close it was. I'm going to announce the results, however, in reverse order. Fifth, Miss United Kingdom. Well, in fifth place, Miss United Kingdom, that's Kim Ashfield. Goes to receive her check for 500 pounds. Fourth, Miss Israel. <laughs> yes, it's back to join the army with a check for 600 pounds for Anna Zimmerman. <laughs> Third is Miss France. Yes, this is Miss France, Patricia Barzac, receiving a cheque from Julia Morley for £1,000 this evening. And runner-up to Miss World is Miss Guam. <laughs> yes, a very happy Kimberly Santos, the runner-up to Miss World, 1980, receiving her cheque tonight for £2,000. Miss World 1980 is Miss Germany. Yes, it's been a very good an oven for Gabriella Broom, the happiest girl in this hall tonight, receiving her cheque for £5,000, £15,000 worth of contract for work, and of course, the world at her feet this evening.
Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Germany is Miss World 1980.